So we're here today to see this guy right here, Steve Priano. You know, try to fix my shoulder up. He's actually a CoreyGFitness.com member and old school gym member. Been doing shoulder surgeries for like 20 years. And mine's got some issues. So we're gonna down the Sweet 120 and see what I'm dealing with. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. But I wanna make sure I can compete for 20 more years. So that's why I'm here today. All right, so kind of some crazy shit happened. I'm gonna give you guys a little background on it. Uh, last Monday, I had a fucking sick front squat. First time I ever made a quarter and any vari variation of front squat against four bands. So four bands, as you'll be able to see in the video, is 400 pounds of tension plus 95 pounds. And I made it all week actually, but that was the first time I ever made it. My stability and my hip just was never really, my hips were never really there for that kind of tension, but felt awesome. Made a 545 deadlifts off one mat which is actually my worst position. It's actually the worst position for my deadlift. I'm better off the ground. That position right there is tough for me. So from a conjugate method, felt real strong. Um, we usually do kind of like some old school chest and back workouts on Mondays. And you know, 135 for 15, jump over, hit 20 pull-ups, no big deal. And I really wasn't gonna, gonna go past 185. Um, and we're using an arc bar. Now an arc bar, is not quite as as much of a, a curve as like a buffalo bar. It's still 45 pounds, but it's got this weird kind of outside angle, which I've only really used one other time. But I was like, you know what? I want to get a good stretch. Um, uh, I'm gonna use that outside angle. Just go up to 185. Now, it felt probably 30% lighter than it normally does. I felt hydrated. I had rested my upper body for two days. A lot of people know my training volume is crazy. I I lunge 800 meters every day squat five times a week, but I take the weekends off upper body wise. So that's my first day training upper body wise. Um, I didn't drink beer over the weekend. I was hydrated. Everything about what was happening, and I just had two PRs, mini PRs, not like all time PRs, mini PRs on those variations and felt awesome. And the weight probably felt 30% light, but here's what's happened. That angle of that bar combined with maybe my lat uh, maybe not engaging to the proper amount to the arch in a perfect storm tore my supraspinatus, which is your rotator cuff, one of them. Now, what's crazy is my shoulder has been a funky mess for years. That's why I've had a hard time doing snatch work. That's why I think my bench press has kind of had a ceiling and I've managed it by the volume and all the upper back and lat work. And I think in that split second, my lat that probably um, stabilizes a lot in my rear delts for this tissue that's been, you know, probably damaged for a while. And what I really believe, and I, I'll talk to the doctor about this when I go in, is that it probably was partially torn anyway. And that it just kind of, when the lat wasn't there to support it and that weird angle, it just went the rest of the way. The crazy thing is, you'll watch it on the video, it's nothing dramatic. I'm stroking 185, like I could do 15 reps. I've done crazy shit in the gym, and I've been doing this 20 years. I've never had anything have to be surgically replaced. I'm 40 years old. I've been competing in powerlifting since I was 17. I've done so many different bodybuilding shows, so many different, I mean, 30, 40 powerlifting events, 15 shows, 13 covers. Body weight's been 240, 165, shredded with my glutes in, never taken drugs, all over the board. And I feel amazing and get hurt on 185. So here's kind of the way I, I kind of compute that in my head. It's a new challenge. As a trainer, I'm gonna learn a lot more. You guys can watch me. We're gonna document it as I come back from this. And if I was like a 70 year old dude that didn't do what I did, um, I, I might not even get it fixed because I believe my supporting structure is so strong that I could get away with it. But could I still compete and do something I love to do? Like you guys see the fitness stuff, you see the bodybuilding stuff, but I'm really like, I love powerlifting at the most extreme level. And to think that at 40, I really, I could still compete in deadlift and squat for sure. I've been squatting ever since I heard it and hitting good numbers, but to, to, to kind of hang it up right now, 
not for me. I really believe I can compete into my 60s. And if I got to get a surgery right now and it's kind of got me down and out for three to six months, um, still be able to lunge. I've been lunging for two, you know, 800 meters for 285 days. Um, you know, I'll probably be slinged up, ripped out here lunging. That's just what it is. I remember um, I was thinking about this. Uh, Arnold had got his knee done during kind of his heyday. Obviously, I'm not comparing myself to him, but that's just one of my mentors and friends. And I thought about, you know, kind of reaching out to him and seeing kind of how he dealt with that whole thing. And it's, um, it's hard because this isn't just my hobby. This is my passion. This is my job. This is what I do for probably four hours. You know, I get up at three in the morning and I'm not really done doing training related stuff till like 7.30 every morning. So between drive time, lunging, training, creating content, um, it, it's my life. And so this will be the first thing. I've never been faced with something like this before. Been thankful all these years that I haven't, but there's a lot of you guys out here that have. And so, you know, during this YouTube series of me kind of coming back from this, I really want, um, I'm going to lean on you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to need help, support, um, answer questions. You know, there's other people that went through rotator cuff stuff and, um, uh, man, it's going to be interesting. And, uh, I'm just going to bring you along for the ride and it's, uh, I'm sure it's going to have its, its good days and bad days. Quite frankly, I really don't feel that bad. Um, I went to the gym, I trained, I had a good front squat today, but I just know I'll have a ceiling if I don't get it done. The last thing I want to do is have surgery. The last thing I want to do is not be able to lift upper body wise for a little while. But I think um, I've been having trouble with the shoulder for a long time. And it might be interesting to see like what I'm really capable of when I come back from it. So it's a chapter in my life that was unexpected, but I have no choice but to take it head on. So it'll be interesting. Thanks.